All right, guys, uh, we are back on the S63 build here today. We've installed all the uh, pistons with the connecting rods, uh, still the old bolts. Uh, we've done our oil clearance check. Uh, we had to lap all these uh, connecting rod journals to get uh, to increase the oil clearances because they were a little bit too tight. Uh, you guys can check that video up there to see all the work that went in into polishing these journals a few tenths. Uh, to be able to open up that all clearances on the rod journals so we've done that that's all done now all we're gonna go ahead and do and replace the old bolts and the connecting rods uh, with the new bolts that we have here got brand new connecting rod bolts so we're gonna go ahead and install those and then we're gonna uh, continue the build with the oil pump insulation and then the oil pan okay All right guys, so um, all the rod bolts have been replaced with new bolts and have been torqued 20 Newton meters plus 75 degrees. We made sure we put a visual indication on the top of the head so you can see that these are visually angled torque and they all kind of lined up, matched up the same way. Next thing we're gonna be going ahead and doing install the oil pump. This oil pump is a little bit of a technical aspect. It's not just an install and go. Uh, the oil pump has to be installed. And it's a back driven oil pump. It's driven off of the back of the engine, off of the back of the crankshaft. There's a gear there. So you've got to go through a little bit of a process of installing this oil pump. Then you have to adjust the chain tension. So let's get right into it here. And what you can see here, we've got our oil pump here. Um, the oil pump has been refreshed. Um, I'm going to put a link up a video up above to where we did a little bit of a refreshing on the oil pump. We took it apart, uh, inspect all the components, uh, did a little bit of stoning on the surface, make sure everything is flat. Uh, we did a blue check, make sure everything seals nice and tight. So this oil pump is ready to go. So we've got our oil pump, we've got our chain, we've got our uh, suction tube, and we've then I believe we've got another tube here. I'm not sure if that's a drain tube or what that is. Uh, we've got our drive. We've got our uh, flange here that's on the oil pump that this drive attaches to there. We've got some new O-rings. So first things first, we're gonna put our new O-ring onto our sleeve here. Then we are gonna replace our O-ring that's in our block. That's right inside here. There's an O-ring right inside here. We're gonna go ahead and replace that O-ring. We're gonna loop that up and we're gonna install the oil pump. And then we're going to go ahead and torque this flange nut down. So kind of let's let's get to it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, these all supporting studs and this here has all been torqued already. We did that a part of the bearing cap insulation. So these are good here.
Hey guys, okay, so we've just uh, installed the new O-rings into the oil pump, into the block, and into the pump here. Put in the uh, attachment sleeve here, then we've got the other sleeve that goes right into the pump here. We've installed the pump and we've just snugged these bolts up that holds it down because we got to go ahead and torque this flange here, right here. So you got to be able to hold this. And what I found works best is the same tool on my N55 crankshaft holding tool. Uh, it's the same bolt pattern. So this is a win-win right here. So. All right, so we've got the oil pump on and the flange has been torqued. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is gonna install the gear drive. Install the gear drive with the chain and then we're going to adjust it. Uh, this chain is the original chain, I'm not replacing it. I've measured this chain against uh, a new chain and there has been minimal or little to no stretch that's been noticeable or measured. So there's really no reason for me to replace this chain. So we're using the old chain on here, but they were, but it was compared to a new chain uh, for the overall measurement to confirm if there's any stretch. All right, so we got these bolts loosely installed. Uh, these are supposed to be torque 10 Newton meters. I don't have a special torque wrench that gets in the back here. So all I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm gonna snug these up, mark it, and then I'm gonna go 45 degrees, which is more than adequate and more than that 10 Newton meters, which should be good. Uh, these uh, bolts calls for them to be torqued to 10 Newton meters, which is like 90% of the bolts on all BMW cars or engines. So I've got a pretty good feel of what that is, but just to uh, be able to have some consistency, I'm just going to snug it up and then I'm going to mark it and then I'm going to go maybe like uh, 40 degrees or 45 degrees uh, from there, okay? Our flange is torqued to our oil pump and our gear is torqued to our flange which has our chain. Now we have to adjust the chain. The chain right now is pretty sloppy. Cannot leave this chain like this. This needs to be adjusted to 10 millimeter plus two millimeter. So the overall slack or preload of the chain has to be 10 millimeter, 10 to 12 millimeter. Okay, so. First thing that we've done here is we've removed the uh, bolt that holds the oil pump on this side here. 
which is our socket head cap screw bolt. This one right here, remove that completely. And we've just loosened these a little bit, just make them a little loose, not too tight. In order to check the chain tension, we have to measure using this edge as our gauge, and we gotta preload the chain. So you gotta be able to push the chain, right? You don't, and you have to keep it level. I'm gonna use 30 seconds right here. So, keeping this level on this surface, push the chain in till the chain with the ruler pre pretension in it, and then measure your take your measurement right here. Right now, this is two and twenty-five thirty seconds. Okay, so we've got that measurement. Next. We've got to take the same measurement, but the chain pushed this way. So we're going to take a screwdriver and we're just going to push the chain to take up the slack this way. And we're going to put this measurement right here. We want to make sure that we put the screwdriver at the same level as the chain that we're measuring. You don't have to push it too much. So this is one and 26 30 seconds. 2 and 25 30 seconds. That's the first measurement we took. Minus the second measurement gives us an overall chain slack of 1 inch. Our spec is supposed to be 0.393 inches to 0.471. So right now this is too loose. Now we're going to need to adjust the chain slack, okay? In order to adjust the chain slack on this side of the pump, there is a threaded sleeve right here that you have to adjust up that moves the pump up and off of here so you decrease the amount of slackness there, okay? So we've moved this sleeve off of here, we've threaded it, so we've moved the pump up. Okay, now you can see this thing is very, very tight. This is too tight, so we got to find that measurement. So we're going to have to go through a little bit of a trial and error. So what I'm going to do it very tight. This is absolutely tight. And back it off a quarter and let's see if that takes us to where we need to be. We are going to snug everything back up here. Then we're going to take our measurement. Second measurement, we've got... Two and sixteen thirty seconds. Two and six thirty seconds. In your second iteration, two and sixteen thirty seconds minus two and six thirty seconds gives us two point five inches minus two point one eight seven five gives us point three one two five. So we're still too tight. We need to be a little bit looser at a minimum point three nine three. All right. So our third iteration, two and eighteen thirty second minus two and four thirty second gives us 0.437. We're right within spec, but uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I wanna be closer to the minimum spec to allow for any stretching in the chain over time. So I'm gonna try to achieve this. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that uh, bolt down on the uh, sleeve there and see if my measurement change. And then we're gonna try to achieve that.
All right, so on our fourth iteration, once we tightened everything up, uh, we got a little bit looser. So I'm at 5.500. So I'm gonna go ahead back and try to find my magical spot with that 0.393. Uh, you guys got a pretty good idea how this is done. I'm not going to video every single iterations, but uh, for me, I want to be able to get to this magic number as close to this as possible to allow for stretch over time, okay? All right, guys. Finally got the uh, timing chain adjusted properly. Um, took me about a whole hour maybe close to an hour and a half to get this adjusted properly. Important thing to remember is that once you torque these bolts down, this chain slack increases dramatically because you're bringing the pump closer down to the engine block whereby increasing the clearance or the slackness of this chain. So before you torque the bolts down, it's important to measure your slackness and you have to be tighter than the spec because once you tighten it down, you should go within spec. For me, why it took so long is because I'm trying to achieve that minimum amount of BMW criteria, that point, point 0.393 inches. Um, I did not want to be on the high end because I want to accommodate for wear and um, wear in the chain or stretch in the chain over time. Uh, so I did not want to be at the end of that tolerance. So, uh, took me quite a bit of time and I ended up with um, okay right now at that edge 1732 okay This is sitting right between four to five thirty second. So we're gonna call it four and a half thirty second. It's not quite on the five and it's not quite on the four. It's really between. So four four point five thirty second. All right, you guys can see all the different iterations I went through. Finally, this is kind of where we're at. Uh, we've got our seventeen thirty second minus four point five thirty second. Decimal point minus decimal point gives us 0 0.390. Our spec is 0 0.393. So we're about a little bit over 2000 inside of the minimum tolerance, which I'm not concerned about because once you rotate this chain and you measure it at a different position, you're going to get different measurements. So I'm happy with this measurement and that's kind of where we're going to go. So we've gotten the chain installed. The, uh, the flange has been torqued to the pump the gear has been torqued to the flange and the oil pump has been torqued to the block so now we're going to go ahead and install our pickup tube and then we're going to install the oil pan okay <laughs> 